Well, here's something I've been meaning to show you for a while. It's my little solenoid motor that I made about a year ago. Um, it's made real simple out of a a, a doorbell solenoid, a little limit switch, a wooden flywheel with some bolts on it for weight, <clears throat> eighth inch steel rod for the crankshaft, uh, the, a little bronze bushing makes up the camshaft, Limit switch acts as the switch. Uh, connecting rod is a piece of 832 all thread. And the pistons, I guess you can call them, are quarter 20 volts. With uh, holes drilled in their head for the screws that hold the uh, this plate on here. And the connecting rod connects to there. And to this little piece of square steel key stock right here. Which is on the uh, crankshaft. Um, crankshaft I made myself by hand, uh, just heating it up with the torch and bending it. I had to make the crankshaft with the steel uh, key stock on it because it won't, it can't uh, slide around the turns and there's no, you know, end cap or anything. It's a solid piece. There. Um, real simple, made out of stuff you get at the hardware store. I have it rigged to run right now off of an old, old model train transformer, putting out about 12 volts DC, and um, let's turn it on here, see if it works. It hasn't been running in a while. Give it a little spin. going pretty good. I wish I had a tachometer to see the real speed, but I guess it's probably in the neighborhood of uh, 200 RPM. Maybe a little less. Slow it down by dropping the voltage a little bit. And kick it back up a little bit. From this direction, the flywheel is turning counterclockwise. Stupid old 40 year old, uh, 40 or 50 year old transformer doesn't doesn't uh, vary the voltage very well. Got some problems in this Rio set here. Yeah, it works for now. I have a nicer power supply, but with the risk of you know shorts with all this exposed wiring here, I don't didn't want to risk it. This one's even protected by open fuses. <laughs> That's something. Flywheel is a four inch diameter piece of half inch plywood uh, with a steel hub. It's a half inch steel, half inch steel hub with a hole drilled through it. Set screw put in on each side. And just hot glued right on. Uh, five sixteenths bolts for some weight. This right here is a pulley that I put on. Um, it, uh, it used to actually be a, a moving car, 
Galaxy. Uh, my friend called it the Road Warrior, so I <laughs> wrote that on there. Uh, Road Warrior because uh, it was kind of a joke because with uh, its 14 and a half volt drill battery sitting right there, it could go about. Let me show you. It uh, only went about this fast right here. With all its weight. I mean, that was after all the gear reduction and everything. I had this pulley, a large pulley, then that went down. <clears throat> Small pulley on there went to another large pulley, and that finally just went to the little axle right here, which is really just a piece of all thread with a couple tires on on these aluminum wheels here. Really, really simple and crude. But that all fell apart, so I just decided to run it as like a stationary engine almost. Uh, eventually, what I would like to do would be to build a a, uh, a double solenoid, either in line, have another solenoid over here, or opposed, have one over here, you know. But that's whenever I feel like doing it. I don't really feel like making another crankshaft because that was that took a little bit, a couple trials and errors to get it to work right. So that's that. Just thought I'd show you.